but then zinc we we get into a whole other area of stuff here with zinc because you need optimal zinc and optimal water to produce the hydrochloric acid inside your stomach for example to digest your food if you're not digesting your food properly and if the hydrochloric acid is too close to neutral so for it to be okay think of it this way this is where my brain goes. It goes all over the place all the time. <laughs> it's hard focusing on one thing because uh, I can just go here and then here and then here and then here and then here. And then all of a sudden, ah! anyway, so with optimal digestion, for example, the hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid that is inside your stomach, for example, should be in a range between, I think it's 1.5 to 2.5 is really, really, really good. So it will break down. It will kill pathogens. It will kill bad bacteria. It will kill parasites. Even if you happen to ingest any, it will kill that stuff. Anything above that, not so much. Now with zinc, like zinc and water is needed to create the hydrochloric acid. And when you say, oh, my stomach acid is low, the lower the number, the more acidic, which is good. Some people, when they say my acid, uh, my stomach acid is high and they seem to think that it's too low. This is where people can get confused. So it's like, well, what number is it? So when it comes to acids and bases and stuff, you've got, oh, I keep knocking the microphone. Uh, you've got things like, um, it's like, so you've got five. No, you've got seven. Seven is neutral, right? Seven is neutral when it comes to acids and bases. So acidic is anything below seven and alkaline is anything above seven. So <laughs> you certainly don't want neutral hydrochloric acid because it's like then nothing's happening. You ain't getting no nutrients, nothing's happening. So anyway, I was getting to the fact that um, if your hydrochloric acid is not optimal, I'm going to use the word optimal because if I say high and low, then people get confused and did it. If it's not optimal to digest the proteins and it needs to be an optimal number, you know, less than three, to digest the proteins from the meat, to break them down enough, to get out all those minerals so that your body can like suck them up and absorb them. If it's not, then you're not getting your iron, you know, you're not getting your minerals, your calcium, your whatever. And on the subject of PPIs, it's proton pump inhibitors. You know those antacids when you have blood transfusions they even try to give them to you it's like oh here take this it's like oh my god why do you want to do that those things are really bad and a lot of people take them because they have too high stomach acid which is causing reflux and reflux is you know when you've got that tingly horrible feeling like it feels like you sort of vomit up a little bit that's reflux that's actually a whole other kettle of worms right there not literal worms but in saying that, that's actually, you know, most of the time it's because of the sphincter. You've got two sphincters. You've got a sphincter here in your neck and you've got a sphincter sort of at the start, um, sort of just below that, um, just at the top of your stomach before the opening is to get into your stomach. You've got two sphincters there. So if those sphincters are like not closing properly, that's why you've got reflux. So if you think that taking a tablet and making your stomach acid go more neutral, which means you're not absorbing anything, really. And if you're doing that long term, uh, you're looking at things like osteoporosis, you're looking at iron deficiency anemia, you're looking at lack of zinc, lack of immune system, you're looking at a whole lot of problems right there. So how I would fix that is um, you, you want to, there's actually receptors inside there that tell your sphincter. There's receptors inside your stomach. You, like you, your whole body's like got receptors and it's got, it's always talking to itself. It's always talking to other parts of the body through hormones or through neurons or through um, receptors and all this stuff. And your body just talks to itself all the time just to make sure that that homeostasis, that, that just right section of the body is just, you know, there, because that's what it wants. It wants this optimal, okay, let's go. Let's take these nutrients, use this for here. Let's keep this running optimally. Da, 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 da. And of course, when it comes to the body, it can only work with what it has. So if you're filling it up with crap or if you're around lots of toxins and stuff, eh, it's going to deplete a lot of stuff. And again, it, it can only work with what it has. So if it's not getting enough and it needs something from somewhere else, it's going to pull it from another section of your body and use it. Uh, which would just deplete stuff more. So, oh yeah, right, the sphincters. <laughs> the sphincters. So we go back to the sphincters. Um, yeah, so what you, what you actually want to do, see, because those receptors are not saying, hey, the stomach's 
you know, ready for digestion. Now we've got, we've got to close up. The sphincters have to detect the optimal stomach acid in the stomach. If it's not detecting optimal stomach acid, it's not going to close it. So what do you want to do? You want to pump up the stomach acid. Wait, I'm using the wrong term here. You want to get it optimal, right? So you want to get it nice and acidic. You can do that with zinc. You can do that with other foods. It just sort of depends on what kind of a deficiency is going on. That sort of thing.